So join with us in praise. Church as we time. Sing of his restoring praise be to God. Oh, my phone is dead. Sugar. See, I don't freaking. I didn't take it with me to the in the car. So. All right. So what I'm gonna have to do is let's see if I can do this real quick. Alright, and it's gonna die. I gotta plug it in. Fast as you go, my dog charge it up. They steal my charge. Speaking of, they stole my son, my kid's one charger. Yes, low battery. See, this won't charge. I have to take it. We got the original singer and band up there today. Praise God. Instead of having that other guy that looks like Gonzalez, it drives me nuts. It drives me totally crazy. So anyway, um, what I was saying is because the truth is going to be told. Now, I know my, my in-laws have been stalking me, but they got that idea, and uh, everything that's been going on is my mother, let me tell you something, my mother, I know, has been stalking me since I was young, because how in the world would she know where I was at when I was 18 years old? Oh, mommy wanted, uh, my brother, my brother stalked me at the place I was working at. I, I looked up and there he, him and his girlfriend Angie were. So, meanwhile, you want to say paranoid? No. My, how would you feel if your mother stalked you since you were 18 years old and then try to say that I'm paranoid delusional when I fucking catch everybody on their shit? Terry's been stalking me since 1999 and then my in-laws started stalking me in 2008. How would you feel? And then when I catch everybody on their shit and start opening my mouth up to the world to get help with this bullshit in 2010, Terry gets his buddies behind him to hurt me some more. My mom gets the whole entire BFW to help her to hurt me. The whole world. The doctors, the nurses, how would you feel? How do you think I feel? I've been miserable and unhappy because of uh, these people must are so infatuated with me that they live and thrive on making me miserable. They thrive on it. How would you feel if you knew your mother was stalking you since you were what, 15 years old? Oh, you're delusional. Oh, oh, you're paranoid. You're schizophrenic. You, you think everybody's after you. Well, my cousin Patty said to me, Oh, you feel like the whole world's sitting on your shoulders, don't you? Now I know what she meant. So these assholes uh, with the forced speech shit in the world gives the other ass the other people the, the chance to hurt me some more. How long has uh, actually t my my in laws have been messing me, with me since two thousand and two? It just so happened that eventually they both came together to hurt me. Lisa is number one. 
Since February of 2002. Because her sister was a doctor. Her sister is a doctor over in Philly. Her sister-in-law. A doctor over in Philly. And then she went to school because I had a stack of my... I had a stack of my ultrasounds uh, and my x-rays. So she, what Lisa did was go to school long enough to, she, cause she was supposed to go to school to be an ultrasonic or whatever that is. Stenographer, not a stenographer, is typing. So she went to school, to college, long enough to get to know people and understand how to read those x-rays. And she took them to her, her doctor sister-in-law to read them, knowing that I was special to use it against me. Me and Lisa were taking math class at the same time in, in the summer of 2002 when I was getting my shit together. Well, I had my shit together. And I went back to college. But whatever Lisa Wehrman and all them assholes decided they were going to have against me since 2002 is going to come back and fire, backfire on everybody's ass. Everybody's found out. In the Bible, it says you will be found out. No matter how long it takes, you will be found out. Incriminating? Get me in the courtroom. We'll see who's incriminating. That's why they won't get me in the courtroom. They want to send it to my asshole father-in-law's house at 19 Hazelwood Drive. I've never lived there in my fucking life. Never been there. All about, what, three times in my life. Three times I've been to my father-in-law's in 15 years. From three to seven, it's a half-day event for middle schoolers, or if you're going into middle school in the fall, also through to high schoolers. It's going to be fun, fellowship, games, so, worship, a whole host of paranoid? Last year, you tell me. You be the fucking so judge. How the fuck did my mom know I was all the way out in fucking Stratford? For collecting her too early. That's the kind of event launch is, so be sure to find out more information about it online. Now, uh, you want to keep lying? My mother knows exactly how I was growing up. Because she stalked me all these years. She knows. Her and Aunt Mary. They freaking know. You must be so infatuated. Aunt Mary must be so infatuated with me that they have to freaking stalk me. And then Aunt Mary tells Terry, and Terry's in law enforcement and has everybody to conjure up. Go figure, because when you're in criminal justice, you take you take psychology, and you have a, a, a psychology bachelor's degree, or a master's degree, right? There's a detective that was my freaking teacher. Who has a bachelor's degree? In this crap. So I did the timestamp at the beginning. It's uh, actually 25 I'll use my watch. You're going to look at it backwards. 10.25. But this is going to go off soon. Coming to church or barriers even to spiritual conversations. Now I'm sure Praise each God. one of us knows someone who has a hard time with how we can trust such a historic uh, book. Meanwhile, I will get all my Christian brothers and sisters and everybody in the law enforcement that actually has a conscience who is a Christian to help me. And all my VFW lady friends that I grew up with that know me will help me. There's going to be a whistleblower. And Renee, she's number one asshole since I was 18 too. And then when I got married in 1994. Truth be told, justice will be served. And my mother-in-law and father-in-law will go down for everything they've done to me. They stole my children in 2004. You made me a miserable bitch for all these years. And I plan on being happy in God's name. In Jesus' name, I will, my kids and I will come back. Praise be to God. Truth be told and may justice be served. 
you're going to be schizophrenic by the time I'm done with you. You're, 